Okay guys, welcome back to another video. This is of course Mythos and this idea comes from a user named Jaden the Boss on Twitter. So I highly recommend you do follow me on Twitter for updates on stuff like this. Uh, there's links in the description and all that. But let me go to game mode, uh, game dome, no game mode creative. Just so we can take a look at this. What is this? Well, this is an app. Um, he actually sent me a link to the iTunes app and the version I downloaded is called Tilecraft. I'm not sure, I think it's called Don't Touch the White Line, but uh, this version of it is called Don't Touch the Glass. Of course! So, what's going on? Well, we click the Begin button, and we get this nice countdown. Don't worry, I'm terrible at the game. Um, but we have our timer on the side. There's two modes. There's a time mode, and there's also a score mode. And the score mode... Oh, oh dear, you died. <laughs> uh, reset game. Okay, cool, cool. So the score mode is based on... Let's just reset our timer. Score. Uh, no, I want to reset them. They're over here. There we go. Cool, cool. So, let's jump into this part first. This is what's moving all of the platforms. So, if we go to begin, and we'll just start up the game. Uh, come on. Begin. There we go. Three, two, one, go. It's going to teleport us. Um, when we start up the game, it will start moving these, pop these blocks. So, what's going on here? Well, we have a command, or a timer over here. A clock, not a timer, sorry. And it's also coming onto these, which are all on 4 6 of delight. These are all moving these, which are being spawned by these three command blocks here, the ones that are off on the side. Um, and they're all being moved by these ones. These ones are cloning them, and then moving them three blocks, and then three blocks, and then three blocks. I tried to balance the timing a lot, but it was really tough, and sometimes you get big streaks like that where you can just run, but it does change up a little bit and stuff after a little while, and sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's really hard. It is really accurately tracked for when you when you do step on the glass, so it does know when you step on the glass, and don't try to say it. It got it wrong, because it didn't get it wrong, so let's shut this down. You saw what happens, and um, we will reset our time over here. Boom, boom, kill, kill. And we'll head back here. What's going on? So we have this setup right here, which is a redstone block clock. And it's just executing a uh, test for block command at 0 0.01 of a block below the player. So that means when you're standing on it, it will pick it up, not when you're like hovering over it or anything, when you're half a block down or anything like that. It is to the point 0 0.01 below you. So if you take one step on it, you're gone. Um, and that goes into this, which teleports you back, and also uh, sets a block. Um, sets a block here. Well, here for a start. Uh, or no, it's not there. It is there, and then it sets. Uh, it gives you the uh, death message, which is this command block right here, and it also sets another block to right here. And they that one stops the, the timer running. Uh, the score for time, and this also stops this clock running, so it doesn't move these things and cause your computer to lag. But over here is probably the best part. So we have these two little panels. Each one is a six by nine, and each each three by two uh, area is one tile. So each six by three area is one row. So each one spawns in this by this, and then that's one platform. So it does kind of oops, <laughs> it does kind of get confusing, and I forgot that was testing. But it does randomly collect or pick one of these to uh, clone one of these two tiles and one line from this tile. How does it do that? Well, it uses this dispenser. This dispenser is full of to the brim with the uh, command blocks that are full of MBT tags. So if I was to take one out here, um, I'm just going to use this one as an example. We can put it down and we can check our command. This is cloning. Um, in this area and it is relative to when the command block is placed here so it will only clone for when it's placed there and then this redstone block just means it uh clones it straight away over to the end there 
What's this dispenser for? Well, this one is just 64 stacks of 64 of these. If I was to get a redstone block, place it there, clear it, and look at this. Oops, didn't work. Uh, no, we put it here. Sorry. Uh, and then look at this. This is now full again. So it's just using this command block to clone up here um, and put it down here so this dispenser's full again. So what else do we have to explain? Well, there's not much else. There's just the title, really, which was kind of a cool thing. I never thought anybody... Well, obviously, I thought someone would. But we just have something that uh, sets the times for the title. And then uh, three, two, one, go. And then removes that block. Um, teleports the player down. And then also removes the block over the other side to get the clock going again. Once you are playing, it is pretty simple. All you have to do is step on the diamonds, of course. Um, similar to the actual app. If you play the app, you have to just tap the, the blocks that are highlighted as other blocks, um, which is what it does there. But if we press this, this button here, this reset game, basically what I'm doing for these holograms is I have um, an item frame with a named item in it over the button. So if anybody was curious as to that, there you go. But if we press this reset game, all it does is uh, it sets a command block into the middle of these. This one sets a redstone block over there to clone the top one to the bottom. So it refills the dispenser. This one clears it. This one does nothing. Whoops. Um, that one does nothing. They're supposed to set blocks there. They don't need to though. It's okay. When you die, it actually sets them anyway. So this one then clears the redstone block under it. So let's get rid of these two because we don't need them. Cool, cool. What else do we have? I think that's just about it actually for this game. Uh, I will post the download in the description, of course. This one is testing for the diamonds, actually. This one is executing a player at minus one test for block, diamond block, and then it just adds a score of one to your uh, score, which is cool. Um, this game is actually really hard because it so accurately tracks um, where you are in relation to a glass block or diamond block, but it was not too hard to make. Uh, so, see, I took one step on. So if we just click begin again, um, there we go. I wish there was a way to make it less accurate, but I don't really think I can find one. And a lot of the times you can outrun the diamond blocks. Um, or you cannot outrun the diamond blocks, but you get to the top. Similar to that, and you try to anyway, because you should stay at the bottom here, which is the best tactic I've found, but sometimes you do jump too late. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it from me for today. Uh, give, this, give the game a shot if you want me to post the... Uh, uh, link to it in the iTunes app store. I will down below in the description too. And once again, thank you very much to Jaden the boss for uh, for uh, linking me this and asking me to build it. So thank you very much guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.